Hello there everybody, my name is Rob. Welcome back to Hearthstone Arena. Hopefully we do a bit better than we did last time. I can't quite remember what it was like, but we didn't get too far. Okay. I think I'm going to do Thrall, because I've played the other two twice in the series. So, for Thrall. Uh, and quickly, turn the volume down because it's a bit loud. Okie dokie. Uh, Manatai Totem. Here we go for two. Um, it's between Youthful Brewmaster and Abusive Sergeant. Uh, let's go Youthful Brewmaster. Um, throw my fast here, we could do. Sure, let's go with that. Um, Mad Bomber, or any of these three are actually pretty good, really. Um, Let's go Lepernome, because ones are pretty good to have. Flame Tongue Totem. Uh, okay, sure. Fire Elemental. Fire, fire, fire Elemental. Uh, loot Hoarder, another two. Rock Biter Weapon is good. Maybe I should have taken the healer, though. Uh, oh well. Uh, Unbound Elemental, do we have any overload yet? No, it's probably better not to grab him then. Totemic Might, eh, may as well. Um, Blood Knight is better than the other two, for sure. Um, Frost Elemental, or Youthful Brewmaster? Let's go with Frost Elemental. we got Fire and Frost, and another Fire Elemental. Um, let's go with the Worgen Infiltrator, because we've already got a Flame Tongue Totem. We don't need another one, I don't think. Um, another Youthful Brewmaster? Sure, why not? Um, Wind Fury or Chill? No, Chill Wind Yeti is fabulous. So we'll go with that. Oh, uh, another youthful. Sure, another youthful Brewmaster. Why not? Um, Earth Shock is a brilliant card. Uh, Rock Biter Weapon or Earthen Ring Farseer. Let's go with the Earthen Ring Farseer. Um, not Dread Corsair. It's between. Let's go. Sp How many twos do we have actually? Or ones? We got two ones. And. Four twos. Um, let's get the Spellbreaker. I'm sure we'll get a few more twos. Uh, Injured Blade Master is really good. Uh, Frostwolf Grunt or Lepernome. Let's go with Lepernome. Uh, Gnomish Inventor. Mana Wraith. Or let's go with Abomination. Uh, Lightning Bolt. Let's go with Lightning Bolt just so we don't have to deal with too much overload. Fire Elemental, because those are f brilliant. Uh, Rook Biter Weapon, or Ancestral Healing is also alright, but not really with anything we have, so let's go Rock Biter. Um, uh, Dark Iron Dwarf, this is great. Uh, Fairy Dragon, because we need some more twos, really. And Stormforged Axe, over Bloodfen, yeah. And Fire, oh wow! Should we go with Alakir? I mean, we may as well. Malagos isn't really going to help us. I mean, what would that actually do for us? Do we have any spells that do that? We got... What was it? We got Lightning Bolt and... Uh, Earth Shock. So let's go with Alakir. I've, ne I've literally never played with Alakir before. So uh, hopefully it goes alright. What's his mana cost? It's like 5, isn't it? It's quite low. Can't quite see it. Oh well. So, when I play a shaman in arena, I tend to actually not do wonderfully. Is just is that's just a little uh, trend I've sort of noticed. Um, but maybe this will be the uh, the time that I break the trend. Okay. Oh, it's eight. Oh, I, I thought it was cheaper than that. Stay not. Um, get rid of Alakir then, and get rid of the Dark Iron Dwarf. We'll keep Lepernome and Earthen Ring Farseer. Okay. Oh! We can Injured Blade Master, and then Earthen Ring Farseer it. That's pretty good. So, we'll go Lepernome. And turn two, we'll coin out the Injured Blade Master. Turn three, we'll Earthen Ring Fire Seer it. 
can he do anything? He's, yeah, nope, nope. <laughs> He's obviously got a few things he could have done, but he decided to just hero ability me instead. Obviously we're just going to go for the face. And Injured Blade Master it. Injured Blade Master is one of my favourite cards. And it synergizes really well with um with Shaman, even though I haven't got any of the good cards that well, the cards that it synergizes with. The Ancestral Healing one, you can get a four seven taunt on turn three, which is pretty great. And also with um what's it oh he's take oh, that was a mistake. He should not have gone straight for my face. And with the and no, what's it called? Ancestral Spirit. Uh, he comes back to life because the battle cries don't activate if they are summoned with ancestral um, spirit. So it comes back. Oh, bastard! It comes back to life as a um, as a four seven, which is brilliant as well. Okay, and he's still just going for my face. That's very weird. Um, let's see. We could do Youthful Brewmaster and Totem, or we could just send out. Let's send out the Manatide. Oh, and then. Sure, may as well give it to Temic Might so it's more difficult for him to get rid of. And, uh. Is it at the end? Yeah, it's the end of the turn, you draw a card. Sort of like the reverse Nat Pagel, isn't it? Except, is Nat Pagel still 50 50 chance? I can't remember. Okay, what could that be? The explosive thing. Oh, excellent. Blood Knight is actually going to be useful. Um, and I guess I'm just going to take that out. That may have been a mistake, actually. But oh well. And we'll totemic call. Uh, shit. Oh, well, I can Dark Iron Dwarf the Wrath of Air Totem in case it's a freezing trap. If it's an explosive trap, that's not that big a deal. Okay, can't really do much about that right now. That's okay. Or, I could... No, I can't. Um, I guess... Uh, it's annoying. I'm worried that, that is going to be a freezing trap, so I'm going to have to do this. Go for the face with it. Misdirection. Okay. Ugh. Well, it's still a good thing that I uh, didn't attack with the Blood Knight, because then the Blood Knight would be dead right now. Um, so, I guess Lepinome... Wargan Infiltrator. May as well just put these out. And I will leave this guy alive because I've pretty much won next round. Well, more likely than not. I got Fire Elemental that will take him down to um, 8 health. And I've got 6, no, 14 damage on the field. Well, that's not going to help him, is it? Unless... Yeah. That's not going to help. Well played. Okay. So. First uh, match went pretty well. That's good. Of course, it's I've sort of been on a run where um, every uh, every every you know every arena run has been a victory on the first couple turns. So I would be disappointed if I didn't win the first two games, really, because I seem to always be able to do that. It's just later on that it falls apart for me. 
Okay. With honor. Um. So, get rid of the frost elemental, and may as well get rid of the youthful brewmaster because we've got like three of them, and we'll probably be getting another one soon. Okay. So none of that. Yeah. I could rock white a weapon, but that'd be a waste. So I'm just gonna. I'll probably fairy dragon unless he sends something out. Which I can kill with the Stormforged Axe. Uh, oh man, what is that? Hopefully it's not the thing that... Yeah, hope glad it wasn't the thing that reduces the thing the uh, minion's health to... Or is it its attack? I can't really remember, but there's something that does... That reduces the attack of the player. Okay, we'll go Stormforged Axe. And Lepinome. And then we'll go for the face, because it might. No, it's not a noble. Oh, it's probably. a redemption one, isn't it? Is that what it's called when it comes back to life? Because it's not eye for an eye, and it's not the one when I summon, or when I attack, so I think it is redemption. I think that's the only one that's left. Which means that if he attacks the Lepinome with his Silver Hand Recruit, it won't activate. And, yeah. And the next turn, I'll bring out the Thraumar Farseer. And turn after that, try and get the Rockbiter weapon onto it. And then deal, what was that, 10 damage? It's pretty sweet. Ugh. Oh, interesting. But he went for that one. Well, I don't know. Because it seems totally pointless if he had... Oh, shit. Oh well, I can still take it out at least. Even if I do take a bit of damage. Okay. Yeah, I would have thought he would have uh, silenced the leper gnome because then I, he wouldn't have taken that extra two damage and everything would have worked out pretty much the same way. Okay, well... I think I'm actually just going to have to use Rock Right Weapon on myself to take this out. And then attack him like that. Because otherwise I would have lost the Throma Farseer and it wouldn't have been worth it. Um, I can Frost Elemental next turn if I want to, or Loot Hoarder and Totem and Totemic Might, maybe. Um, not ready. Okay, so I'm going to assume that it's the sacrifice one. Yep. I thought as much. So I will freeze him so I don't have to deal with him yet. And it will keep him alive for another turn. Hopefully he's going to... Because Paladin's sort of the definitive Divine Shield class. Hopefully he'll bring out a few Divine Shields in a minute and I can Blood Knight them. Not on my ah! Fucking brilliant. Bring out another one. Go on. No? Okay. Okay. So... I go with Blood Knight, Glory to the and then I go Loot Hoarder, I suppose, I then I go Totemic Call, um, and then I may as well go Totemic Might. Okay, so, I take out him, I take out um, him, and I take out, what do I want to do, take out one of these guys, I could take out two, yeah that's probably best actually, if I take out these two, brilliant, and now because of the healing, you can't take out my, um, frost elemental or the thing with what he's got in the field, but he does have that. 
Is he going to go for the Blood Knight? Yeah, looks like he is. That's the sensible thing to do. Um, Alright, Fire Elemental or Abomination. Let's go Fire Elemental. It's pretty much no way of him getting out of this now. Uh, so Abomination, if he... I mean, he can heal, I guess, but there's not much uh, chance of a victory for him now. Okay, that's something, but not something enough. Not big enough something to a win. <laughs> Why even bother, man? That didn't even do anything. <laughs> okay, uh, bloop, right to the face. Beautiful. And there we go. Oh, and win two games with the Shaman. Wonderful. Okie dokie then. Victory. So there's the obligatory first two victories. Um, hopefully we continue. I guess we'll see. Bye bye everybody.